Hey guys, when we are dividing a number by itself or by a number less than 8, it is completely okay here. For example, I am dividing 5 by 5. Here, I will compile this program using DCC and then file name, and then hyphen O and then executable file name. Here, I can use whatever executable file name and then to run this i will say dot forward slash which means i am in the current path i have to especially say that otherwise program will not run executable file will not execute it now you can see it is okay it is providing us a output but what if we give a number a higher number than this one than this operand for example 5 divided by 10 now I will go ahead and run this now you can see it gives us 0 0.0000 here I have limited that if I remove this limitation and run again you can see it produce zero 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 like that since both our operands are integers here the compiler performs an integer division actually that doesn't calculate the decimal part you know 5 divided by 10 should result a decimal part here if at least one of the operand is in a floating point type that means like a 10.0 this is a floating point type then as our example that we are going to do the other gets prompted and floating point division is performed then here at least one of operand could contain floating point number then this operand will give prompted right then floating point division will be performed now we can go ahead and run this I will choose 10.0 instead 5.0 Now you can see it gave us 0 0.5 and we can limit these decimal places by saying here dot and how many decimal places we need let's say one and it will give one here all right now if we need two decimal places we can do dot two and then f all right now another example if we try to divide 1 by 3 and then I will limit the decimal places as three digit then run again here you can see output like uh, 0, 0.00 and I should have another zero here like this but this is wrong we should have a output to do that one of operand if of in floating point then we can have the correct output now you can see it is 0 0.333 instead this operand could also be a floating point number all right now it is completely okay that's it